Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. In the last episode we got to the top of World Marshal HQ and we took down Sundowner, the guy who kind of started all of this off. In this episode you find me at the pause screen because we just need to unpause the game and find out what's happening. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Driver, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll arrive on 9 11. Glitch out the view model on Ryder. Three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So, whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevis Muzna. Impossible. It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLB would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solis. So yeah, we're actually, instead of like, you know, using a jet or a plane or anything, we are actually going to use a friggin' rocket to fly to Pakistan, which is pretty incredible. Anyway, we're going to do some upgrades, we're going to do these really quickly. I'm getting this, the cyborg body, the Desperado version, and the Bloodlust, which is, um, what's his face, Sundowner's weapon, because they are really, really good. Um, the Desperado uniform is actually less expensive than the Mariachi uniform. It does look cool, though. I like that. Uh, and the main weapon, uh, not the one, not that one. The unique weapon. Uh, I'm not really going to use these. I might. Mm, I don't. <laughs> I prefer these because they are pretty incredible. Um, they are. Th this is one of the weapons where you want to out outdo the strength department to as far as you can go because they are pretty powerful already. You're making them even more powerful. It's just so it just kind of makes sense that way. So equip them. Go back. Anything else we can buy? Uh, no. Okay. How many any skills? Can I get any fancy ass skills? Turbulence. Uh, yeah, let's get one of them. Uh, maybe, maybe that was the lead, the, the lead ranger. Uh, mm. No, we can't really buy anything else. Okay, cool. So let's go. This next part is kind of, hmm, it's a bit sort of. It's a short chapter. Chapter five is a short chapter. It's a very short chapter. There's a big cutscene right here, uh, and then there's a kind of. Um, little bit we have to do. Hopefully, we can knock it out in this episode. Hopefully. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. Semi-auto. You don't really have to drive this thing. It kind of drives itself. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Hey, 
Have a nice flight. <laughs> People good say line. Germans aren't funny. Love a good line. This game, this game and its quotability. One of the most quotable Metal Gear games to date. It's beautiful. Also fun with this um, game that you can the thumbnails for this game are for the episodes in this of this LP of this game you can have a lot of fun you can have way too much fun but just look at that wait that the thumbnail I don't know so much choice it's another one of those slow and nearly got me in the face moments like I said there's a lot of them. My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. So Raiden's dead. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Oh no, he's not dead. Looking pretty snazzy though. So yeah, now this chapter does turn into just get out of Denver. That's pretty much how this chapter works. Look at my weapon. Sundowner's blades are pretty friggin' amazing. They they attack quite slowly, as you'd expect a big, powerful weapon to do, but they are pretty pretty heavy weapons. I'm I'm heavy weapons guy. See this? Did <laughs> you just see that? You are more than gone. You are toast, son. These weapons do so much damage. It's unbelievable. You can sort of throw them in there. Like, oh, look at that. And it's gonna finish you. So I think with this, because Denver's not very interesting, th this chapter's not very interesting, it turns into just defeat people. So I'm gonna cut quite a lot of this, okay? Look at the oh the weapons. Proper Are weapons. Are you alright? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal. What's left of it. But there's always people in the way! Oh, there's always more enemies on... Oh, there has to be more enemies. Oh, these weapons. Oh, did you see that? That was incredible. That's a left hand. Keep getting a lot of accidental left hand in this LP. Just chop the sides down. Oh, a bit of lag there, I don't care. Can I actually do... I want to see if I can do this. I want to see if I can just sneak through. Where's my... What, what do I use? I can change these, that's kind of nice. I didn't know I could do that. Which is a bit stupid. Uh, hang on. What's the button to do this? Let me let me just give me a sec for a sec. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. 
You can't see me. You can't see me. Ha 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 ha. You can't see me. You can't see me. I'm a walking cardboard box. You can't see me. That's hilarious. That's really, really funny. One of these guys can see me. Okay, yeah, they can. Fine. <laughs> we'll have it your way. This does so much damage. Oh, this weapon is so much fun. Ready? Boom! You feel like a, an absolute tank using this. Like the tankiest tank to ever tank. Boom! Oh, come on! I wanted to kill you the proper way. I was gonna, I was gonna action you. I just wanted to action you. Oh god, there's millions. Oh, this weapon is something disgusting. But it's beautiful. Oh. End of that barricade. That's nice to know. More you clowns! Oh, I've got a good weapon now. Bring it. You enraged Raiden. Raiden's gonna take you down with with ridiculous mode, and with the awesome weapon, the ridiculous weapon. I'm just gonna fucking take you down, son. You haven't got a chance. Yeah, that was basically it. That was pretty pretty incredible. I enjoyed that, and I, th I hope you enjoyed that as well because that was it was cut price. I only I only did so much. I only showed you so much, but still, it was good. It was it was it was pretty good. Right. So much choice for a vehicle. What are you going to go for? That should do nicely. <laughs> and of course. It's a motorbike. Were you expecting something else? Something less conspicuous? A motorbike. Thank you for your cooperation. Boom. That is how we do. And that's the end of the chapter. It's that short. C rank, don't really care. Uh, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been. Metal Gear Rise and Revengeance, and in the next episode, we are going to go to Solis, find a rocket, fly to Pakistan, uh, and basically have loads of fun, because that's what this next chapter is about. Unfortunately, that's not actually what's going to happen next chapter. Something more interesting is going to happen in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.